hello, my dear friend, or from all the Green University all over the world. Yeah, my name is Chang Xiantai from National Kingdom University of Science and the Technology, Taiwan. This year, due to the COVID-19, we cannot meet in the beautiful country Iran. This is what a pity. Yeah, but uh, I do hope that. Uh, in 2022, this conference was held in our campus. I do hope uh, everybody can join that uh, program and I will sincerely invite you to our campus. My university really emphasizes on the sustainability, so we make a great effort in every way to reach this subject. But today, due to the time limit, we only can select a uh, server topic. So today, I just want to introduce uh, some important issues in my university that about the water conservation program, new emission vehicle, and the education. First of all, I will talk about the water conservation program. Our campus uh, is uh, very large. In our main campus, we have the 300 hectares. Our water streams from groundwater, mountain spring water, rainwater, and the most important is about the recycled water. Our goal is uh, more than 50% of our water is come from the recycle. So uh, we use a lot of way and uh, to save the waste water so that uh, we can uh, uh, reduce a lot of, of the water uh, resource. For example, uh, Many uh, sewage uh, from the aquaculture and uh, from the animal farm, that water we cannot uh, directly uh, drain that uh, to the river. So we use a natural way and uh, to purify that water and uh, to uh, let the pollution to limit as small as possible. The goal of domestic wastewater treatment plan is to repurpose and uh, recycle water. The wastewater is purified with biological processing and the tree water is reused again. This system helps restore the ecological system and create the water step that including different types of water and the plant life. The design not only offers a living space for plant and the animal life, but also helps increase biodiversity and provide a very natural setting for ecological research. Uh, the second issue is about the zero emission transportation. In my campus, we have a lot of uh, means and uh, to reduce the emission uh, for the transportation vehicle. We also do a lot of research and uh, to design the unmanned vehicle by electricity and the use uh, for the agriculture. From 2016, we induced a program and uh, set a lot of the uh, variable station uh, so that the student can rent the bicycle. But you can see that uh, the rent number is uh, reduced every year. That is because uh, my campus is located in uh, here. So ride a bicycle needs a lot of uh, physical. So uh, the student not interested in uh, riding a bicycle in the campus. So we uh, use another way and uh, we introduce the electric uh, bike. Yeah. That is uh, much uh, more popular and uh, all the students. So you can see the number uh, to use uh, this kind of uh, electric bicycle is increased uh, every year. Since 2017, we initiated the Demand Response Transportation System, DRTS, service on and off campus. The goal is to provide a free and a safe and a convenient transportation service that are tailored for special needs. There are also free emission bus service students going between campus building and the two train station, working toward a more pedestrian friendly campus. We construct two more pedestrian paths to encourage walking. Besides the students and the faculty, 
Residents in the nearby area also have a safer environment for exercise. The third issue is about the education. We not only encourage faculty members to incorporate topics related to the environment and the sustainability into their course, we also hope to raise awareness and provide education to students and the general public on sustainability. We hope to reach, uh, introduce the education outreach to the community. For the course related to environmental and the sustainability, from this figure, you can see that uh, from 2011, we already had uh, more than 1,000 calls about this subject. But uh, when we attended the green metrics, you can see the calls increased dramatically. And uh, 2015, we already saturated. So now we have uh, nearly 3,000 calls about this subject. And uh, this year, we also have developed a phone app that provides real-time and site-specific recommendations for water conservation to farm and the general public. This is a cooperation with the local government to promote the awareness. Joined by the Bureau of the Forest, MPST initiated a training program to educate the forest ranger with new and more sustainability methods to inspect tree health in a large scale. Often timely, farmers use poison to prevent crop loss caused by rat and the sparrow. MPST developed the prey biology control method that has effectively lowered the need for poison. This research has won the 2020 Global View Magazine University Social Responsibility Award in Food Ecology Catalog. In 2020, MPST established Smart Agriculture Center under the support of Ministry of Education, aiming at agricultural modernization by artificial intelligence. Through Intelligent Monitor, we have reduced irrigation water used by 60% while maintaining a stable crop production. Moreover, we also minimize the use of chemical and completely eliminated the use of wide-spectrum pesticides. The Smart Agriculture Center also helps us fully the social responsibility as a university by promoting eco-friendly farmer politics and support social welfare. The rights produced by the smart farm was donated by the underprivileged in the local community. To raise the awareness of sustainability development, MPRT supports the research in circular economy. We focus not only on reuse agricultural waste, but rather on how to create more value for more profit. There are two examples of the upcycling production the barbecue pellet made from waste wood chip and the cotton made of uh, cocoa parts. Everybody can see that uh, we uh, make great effort uh, in this subject. We not only to educate our students, not only to build in uh, our uh, campus facility to reach sustainability, we also want to extend our research and to help the local community to reach uh, this area so that to purify the university social responsibility 